Okay, my next page is going to be an envelope page, and that's going to be on the back of this one. So um, I have one piece that's four by ten and a half, and one piece that's three by ten and a half. Um, the four by ten and a half, we're going to score on both sides, the long sides. And then we're going to take the middle of nine and a half, which is four and a quarter, and we're going to mark it on both of these pieces. Four and three quarter, not four and a quarter. Okay, now I want it to look like an envelope, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this midpoint and I'm going to go um, to the corners here on the three inch piece. So just cut from midpoint to corner in your paper trimmer. trimmer. Um, both ways here. Okay, there's that. I still have a dot. And if you want to round that off, you can. And then I'm going to lay this on top of my four inch piece, but then I'm going to bring it up probably about there, maybe a little bit less, and this is where I'm going to cut this piece. Okay, I'll just use my scissors. If you have like one of those, uh, memory keeper envelope makers. You can use that. You can use a, a die. That would be fine. And then we're going to have to make a hinge for this. This one wasn't quite one inch, but it'll work. Um, I do want to trim the ends so you can't see them when the envelope is open at a diagonal. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're going to cover it up anyways. Um, I'm going to go ahead and glue this onto the page but not onto the top flap yet because I need to measure for um, I need to measure for the mat.
this one. I'm going to keep that one off too because I'm going to have to measure for that mat. Um, I have this. That may be... I think that'll be big enough for this envelope and it has this neat design or better yet I can use that right there let's use that there right in the middle so this is 12 I need 9 and 3 8 um, And then all I need to do for this is distress this top part. And that'll be done. Before I do that, let me make sure that that covers it. Yeah, it covers it. Just barely, but it covers it. Okay. There we go. And then this is the piece. I think I'm going to use this here. Okay, I just cut it by four. And because I'm not going to see this here, I'm okay. So in order to cut this mat, let me think of how we can do this. All I have to do is move this down. Actually, I'm not I'm not gonna take the chance because I'm not sure. I have to think about that if it's the same as the diagonal or not. So I'm just going to cut and I'm trying to keep the integrity of where I want it on this piece of paper. So not to take any chances. I'm going to cut it up. Um, and then I'm going to take an eighth inch off of each side. Or a sixteenth. I should have done this on the back of this paper, but I'm going to distress it anyway, so. I'm going to take another sixteenth off the bottom. Straighten this edge up because I messed that up. Yeah, I'm good with that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and glue this on now that I have all my measurements.
three sides. Okay, so I'm run into a little bit of problem here is that um, this is just a little bigger than my page so I am going to try and gauge how much I cut off here about so on both sides of that envelope I took about a sixteenth of an inch off and it just made it um, small enough that you could actually close the top which is what we were concerned about to begin with so then the mat still fit so we didn't have to trim that down any You can always do like a real envelope stuck to this page too. You don't have to make your own. Okay. And then... This is the piece I cut off of here and um... I think one it has this here I don't want and two I think it's just a little too small so I'm gonna go ahead and On these sharp edges, be sure you get adhesive all the way to the corner. Okay, on the last page, we are going to do something a tad bit different. Okay. 
Okay. So we're going to make a double pocket page. And I'm going to take this page that I made, which is a regular 9.5 by 4, and I'm going to cut it in half this way. Remember, it's already pocket. So I'm going to cut it at four and a quarter. I'm going to measure it first just to make sure. Four and three quarter. That's why I keep saying that. It's four and three quarter. I'm going to cut it at four and three quarter. All right. So that gives me two of these. Now I'm just going to take a hinge and cut it at about the right size. And there we go. And just glue it on. Now we have a little pocket. See where I'm going with this? Alright, and then we can mat these. They're going to be four and three quarter by four. So I want to make the mats um, Seven eighths, four times. Did I say four and five eighths? It's four and three eighths. No, it's four and five eighths. Yeah, four and five eighths. I forget what I'm doing. Four and five eighths by three and three eighths. Oops. to trim it down a little bit to get the images that I want and I trim those down way too much for that no you know what do I need to oh I'll redo it okay so what did I measure wrong I had this one right obviously so it's gonna be Four and five eighths by three and seven eighths is what it should be. There 
we go. Continue with the ink the way we have been doing it. I love this piano. Almost there, guys. Then we'll go back and decorate a little bit. Now, remember, I only used one paper pack and then two pieces of 12 by 12 paper. I did use the... Um, the cover of the paper pack. However, if you take into consideration that there were three pages of cut aparts that I did cut apart in this packet, that's only a total of 10 pieces of paper, uh, pattern paper that I used so far. So that's not bad. Um, the wrong side. That's okay. I'll just ink this one up. No biggie. That's what happens when I try to do math and tape at the same time. Okay, now, let's see here, um, I want these like this, because this is on the back page, so we'll put those there, okay. Um, now, we're going to put our pages in, and these two pages, I'm going to take a hefty pair of scissors, and I'm going to cut my hinge in half at a 45 degree angle. Just like that. See, I just cut this right out of the middle. Okay. And then we take our tape off. And just like any other hinge, it slides right on there. And all you gotta do is keep her straight. together and now you have two little pockets instead of one big pocket and 
And this one. I think I need to cut just a tiny bit more off of this hinge here. Make sure that I can get it straight on there. That's better. There we go. Perfect. See? Pop, 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 pop. Awesome. Now our envelope page is going to go on and we'll to, it's going to go like this. Make sure that our pockets are facing the correct way. You can always put your pages on before you decorate them. And sometimes I do. It's just sometimes there's a couple different reasons that I do it. Sometimes it's just easier. And sometimes I'm not sure if the pages are going to fit in the book. So I'm going to take that into consideration also. Okay, here. So I don't have a gold chain small enough, I'm going to use this silver chain and then cover it up. So, I just thread the chain through. just need a tiny bit to hang down so I'm going to take this jump ring I'll go ahead and use the silver one that I just took off of this this is like a oh what do I want to call it it's like a costume jewelry necklace okay and then just gauge how much you want okay 
So, there you have it. All right, now continuing with the charm. Um, I have ribbon that I think I may want to use, um, but I want to put on my hangy <coughs> danglies first. Um, I'm going to, I think I'm just going to go ahead and leave the silver charm on this heart. I don't mind it. Um, let's see. I have some lobster clasps. There should be some jump rings in here. That was too big. That's the rest of the... Alright, where are my jump rings? Another lobster clasp. There's another jump ring. Okay, one of the ones that I definitely want to put on is this dangly. And then I have these beads. So these beads... These beads already have... Um, I don't know what you call this. They're pre-strung beads. So all you have to do is unstring them. And you just kind of take the... The end. And you can put a clasp on it. You can put a jump ring on it. But I think I'll just put it right through one of these. If they fit, I'll put it right through one of the rings on the chain. Yep, it fits. And then you just close it back together easier sometimes you do the lobster clasp and this will not be removable and as long as you you know like I said um, clasp that down it won't come off okay I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna put this guy on a clasp so it has I mean, I can use this. You don't have to put a jump ring on it. You just bend that up and thread the jump ring or thread the lobster clasp through it and close it down. There we go. I'm going to put this one right through this big jump ring here. And I think maybe I'll put one more set of the pre-strung beads on it. Um, let's do one. Let's do this one. It has a little, some different beads on it. There we go. I like buying those when they're on sale because they're easy. <laughs> they're already done. You don't have to do anything. So get back up here. Alrighty, here. And then the pre-strung beads have um, loops on both sides already. So we can always hook something to the bottom of them too. the loop, the chain loop, and close it together. Okay, so I have, for the bottom of this, I have um, a music note. I'm going to put, and there's no hole in this music note, but I'm going to put this jump ring on it and make it a charm if it'll fit.
glued some butterflies to the spine there. They're not dry yet, so I just have to be careful. Add some dimension here to the back so that when I start to glue these down, they don't... Uh, I'm removing the sharp, sharp part of this pen and I'll put that in foams and oh, I'll just wrap it up right now. I use this washi tape. Wrap it up so it doesn't stab anybody. It's not wrapping. And throw it. I'm not gonna throw it out yet because just in case my dogs get to the trash. Alrighty. Now my glue is heated up, and I'm gonna put this down here because the glue of the flowers is going to hold that down right there and it just peeks out both sides and then I cut the green part off with the wire cutters and then I want this one bunched right up next to that one so just push it into place and then this I can glue on the back of the leaf and then stick it under the flowers. And it's sticking out a little bit over here. And these little tiny, they're rubbery silicone flower things. I'm going to cover that spot up where the wire is sticking out over here. These are just too small to put the glue directly on. So, And these are nice because they're a different texture and they're like a tone on tone. Let me see if I can do this without burning my hands. And we'll put him right there. There we go. I think that's a cute cluster. Drop my gun. All right, there's our cover. Our flowers on the back. And this is what the spine looks like. All done. So there's a key, some charms, or a key of music note, the tassel, some beads and ribbon. We got butterflies and flowers on the front, just a little bit, not too much. Carefully opening this because um, everything's not dry. And then the tags that we made with the ribbon, I just cut them off on both sides. Those will slide right in here. If these stick out too far, we can always trim them off, but I think they'll be all right. And I'm just alternating ruffles and gold. And remember the last page doesn't have one on it because we made that a double pocket page. And then my tags were falling out here so I took them out. I think these may have been in the envelope. No? We'll stick that one in there anyways. Where was this? Um, oh, they're in this belly band. Let's do that. Sometimes you really gotta pack up a belly band to make it stay. <laughs> okay. Now, make sure my butterflies aren't moving all around. Okay. Alright, this is what we look like from the front. 
like I said, if you, those tags are sticking out, so, um, probably like a quarter inch, so I may take, I may trim those, I'll let you know in the share video. And then, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this, I think the only thing we have left to do is, I'm good with that, um, just cover up my mistake here with the distress ink and we'll be good to go so I'll do that and you guys that's it that's the album I'll do a share video for you and I hope you enjoyed this I hope you try making it and we'll see you next time thanks a lot bye bye